What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and on today's episode of Five Star Cars we've got a good one for you. We've got S-Spot uh, doing back to his good old days of car spotting. We've got TJ Hunt to start up his C Twin Turbo C8. We've got Savage Garage and plenty more in today's episode. So let's jump into it. Stay tuned. Hey there guys, how are you doing? And thank you for joining me today on another podcast on Five Star Cars. I uh, hope you're safe and well wherever you are in the world. And if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for checking us out. Hope you will subscribe and like. And uh, by hitting the subscribe button, guys, you just basically are helping the channel grow. I know I'm, I know I'm only new, but it helps us. The bigger we get, the closer we get to getting a project car and getting other car YouTubers on here. And it's, you know, thanks very much for just checking us out. So we are going to jump into today's episode. Just before we do as well, I am thinking of doing Roundup live, a uh, live stream on every Sunday. I will try and do a live stream this Sunday, maybe for half an hour, an hour to chat to you guys about what's going on in the during the week uh, in the supercar community and see if it will work. So yeah, we'll give it a test run anyway. So let's jump into today's episode and not piss around too much. So Espot is back to his uh, Beverly Hills Malibu uh, car spotting and I mean this is one of his better ones that I've seen in, in a while. Um, just some of the cars he's after after catching is absolute quality. I mean, like the echelon of you know pinnacle best you know supercars I've seen. Like there was SCJs in there, um, there was Porsches, there was loads and loads of this, some unbelievable cars. But I'm going to show you the three cars, my three favorite cars that he found. Uh, basically, when he was out car spotting, the three of these are unbelievable cars. Check this out, 250 short wheelbase, estimated what, 8, 10 plus mil? That's insane. Are definitely back, this is insane. See, look, I wonder if this is a dealer car because the classic red interior. There you go guys, what do you think? So, question for you, which one would you take? The Ferrari 250 GTO, the Ferrari F40, or the Bugatti Veyron. Which out of those three, which would you take? I will tell you what I would do. I would take the Ferrari 250 GTO, set it for eight to 10 million, and then buy a Ferrari F40 and a Bugatti Veyron, and God knows what else I would buy, um, you know, because they are worth a lot of money. I don't know how much they were worth when they were first sold back in 1965, I think they were made. If anybody knows how much those cars were worth when they were first sold back then, comment below and let me know, but, they are a very rare, expensive one, aren't they? I think one of the most expensive cars in the world. I'm not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong below. But yeah, great, great uh, car spot by Espa. I, I love when he does these. This is his bread and butter, why he does, and why I, I love watching him. And uh, yeah, just the car collection. If you live in Los Angeles, you are so lucky, hands down. You just, you get the weather, you get the cars. It's, it's unbelievable. So we're gonna move on to the next person on our list, TJ Hunt. We finally got a startup of the Twin Turbo C8, and it was only for a few seconds, uh, but my God, does she sound dirty. Like it does, it sounds like a very dirty, really like just, it's gonna tear the shit out of the road when it gets going. Um, but yeah, here is the first startup for you so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, go for it. <laughs> cannot wait for him to to really finish this build i'm so interested with, like you know what cheap race have done with this and how it's going to turn out and the power numbers and the way it's going to sound i think it's going to come out absolutely insane like the thing is already quick enough as it is but with this twin turbo kit i i can't i can only imagine the videos he's going to get with it and you know what like you're getting again you're getting so much car for your for your money like 65 70 thousand for corvette if this twin turbo comes out unbelievable with great gains and, and really puts down good numbers and is quick as hell, you know, 
you know, if you have a, if you have a, a C8, you would definitely consider doing it if this comes out as good as it sounds like it's going to come out with us. And any of my subscribers buy a C8, let me know if you have one and what they're like below. We'd love to know. Um, the uh, actually, would you want to come on the channel and talk about it? But uh, yeah, I would love to get a C8. They're they're so I really do like them. Um, maybe someday if they ever come over to Europe. But we'll see how the channel does. Moving on swiftly. Uh, next on the list is Savage Garage. They um are doing a rally and he got a 720 back uh glad he got it back uh, you know it just again another one of these cars that is probably not 720 brake horsepower it's probably way more um really like mclaren's pinnacle of engineering of like it's been beating you know near hyper cars and yeah great video by savage garage his collection is unbelievable his black skyline gtr is sick um i really enjoyed the video um he, i just can't get over his collection to be honest you know it's it's just insane and, and jimbo's got a really nice mercy as well um you know watching that episode you just wonder what else he's going to end up buying you know getting the 720s back it's just like i can't even think of the amount of cars he has now he has a great svj 720s he's got the four gt um i think his list as well he's got around 18 cars if not more um, but the 720s would be up there one of my one of my uh, top 10 favorite cars definitely for the amount of car you're getting for money uh yeah so let me know if you've seen the episode below guys and what you think of savage garage at the 720s moving on to stradman now i know look guys i know life Pass has covered this uh the only reason i'm bringing this up is again just giving my own thoughts um i honestly like i i i watched the video i get he's burying a limo and it's gonna get views I think as a Stradman, it doesn't matter. Stradman could be taking a dump on the toilet, reading a bloody book, and he probably still get a million views. To be honest with you, it's just he's just he's that good, like, and he's that many followers that can cons consistently watch him. Um, I wonder how long they're gonna leave it buried for, <laughs> uh, and you know, is it gonna is Tavares gonna go ahead and dig it up and try and get it running? I'm surprised they didn't even sell Billy Moore to Tavares actually to go ahead and do something to it, but. Uh, yeah, you know, good video by Stradman. It'll probably hit 1.2, 1.3 million views the way things are going at the moment. Um, you know, let me know what you think of Stradman below if he's going to get it. Oh, yeah, we have to wait till he gets his twin turbo Gallardo back. Cannot wait for that. But Stradman killing is always a fun episode. Last but not least, it was interesting when I heard this came out. Doug DeMuro were launching his own website, Cars and Bids. Um, what do I think of it? I think it's... Uh, a very good idea he's definitely got the um, subscribers and the uh, i would say online media presence to launch this to make it successful and it's it's really niching down to pacific car enthusiasts that can only sell the car which makes it appealable for people like you and me that would be looking for a certain car and that would be it now again all the ingenious ideas and all that seem to come over in the states and go up to canada we get nothing here over in europe or in ireland but i would i would nearly send them an email and say do you want to you know launch it for ireland and, and the uk it's it is it's a good idea i can't remember the exact pricing to be done now they're charging from what i'm making out here they're charging you to list it and then they're charging person who buys it they're charging you four and a half percent i i i must double check into this but if that's the case i think that's is that a bit overkill i i'm not too sure i think like so you're getting money off the person listing it and money off the person buying it because you're just connecting them to the site um is that too much for me it's at the moment it sounds like it's a bit too much but you know we'll, we'll, we'll see um interesting concept i i think bidding with no reserve or putting on a reserve it's basically eBay Motors, you know, in his own version. That's basically what it is. Um, but would it be successful? I hope it is. Um, again, he's niching down to us car enthusiasts that watch this kind of look for these kind of cars uh, there. It's a very tough market to break into, I'd say, over in the States. You're up against, up against the likes of Auto Tempest and eBay Motors and stuff like that. So there's not many cars up there on it at the moment. And his uh, AMG wagon uh, is already on bids up to 37,000 which is insane so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think uh, of Doug launching his cars and bids website below would you use it uh, would you not use it what do you think of the fees 
um you know do, is it something you're going to keep an eye on i definitely will keep an eye on it i'm very very interested to see what kind of cars go up there and how the bids go and um, one other thing he, i think he would have been very good to do is to have whatever car you're putting up there after a while if if there's a few of those cars up there will give you like an average price of how much they're selling for to give you a guy price to put on a reserve if you want but it's going to be a cool website. We'll see what happens. But yeah, yeah, very interesting. So that is everything for today, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you've watched to the end, thanks. Just, I hope you subscribe uh, and like the video and get commenting below so I can uh, chat back to you guys. I love it when you do and uh, help the channel grow. Uh, so yeah, that's everything for today. I definitely will have a video out tomorrow on Saturday and we will probably give the live stream an attempt on Sunday. I'll see. But Peace out for now anyway, so chat to you later guys, stay safe, peace out and bye.